Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys we are back here in the beginner 2 pro scripting tutorial over here guys. In today's video we are going to be talking about scope. This is quite important guys um, so you don't run into any silly errors later on guys. So this is going to allow you to more understand how scripts work in Roblox guys and when you need to put stuff in certain positions which is really really still useful to know um, and if you guys want to start making a bit more advanced stuff well you guys are going to want to know about this if not then you probably are going to run into some issues. However guys before I start anything off over here explain scope for you all at first need to go in and tell you a little bit about a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there's tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we cover codes for over 1000 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys i guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so guys first things first let me quickly create a script so i can actually dem demonstrate this for you guys so a few episodes ago we talked about variables and how to make them and I said to make a variable you have to do local and then the variable name for example um number is equal to whatever the value is let's put this as 10 guys so as you can see now we have a variable um but pretty much guys this local thing I told you guys to use this um when making variables guys technically you don't necessarily need to use this and I'll explain why so pretty much guys the easiest way that me um, for me to like show you guys how this works is to maybe create some functions over here guys I showed you how to make functions last video if you want to follow along feel free to do so we're going to make a function um we're going to make some functions over here so we're going to do local function um local function I don't even know what I call these guys uh, test um local function test and then we'll go ahead and enter down in over there guys and then we'll also do local function um test uh test again so guys um if i can actually if i can actually spell here um there we go guys so pretty much we've created two functions right now um as you can see here so right now if we were to do print number that is going to go ahead and print the number twice um and that is going to be 10 over here guys so if you go ahead and run the game right now so let me quickly play the game right over here as you can see in the output sorry i've literally forgot to call these functions okay let's go ahead and do this guys so test and then we are going to do test again okay guys here we go so we've got them two functions called right now it would be nice if we could do that anyway as you can see over here guys we have 10 twice so pretty much um we are printing out this variable twice both these functions can access this variable and the reason why is because this is actually outside of the function indent over here guys so let's say if we were to put this one in here even though it's still like that over here guys um so even though local number is equal to 10 over here and it's in print number we haven't changed the value of this variable at all we've just changed the position and we put this variable in an indent as you can see over here guys if we cover this up it's like the variable wasn't um was no longer there so i want to quickly explain what happens and why so as you can see over here it's 10 and nil nil pretty much means nothing over here guys so our first function can't print number fine. It knows that number is 10. However, guys, our second function does not know that number is 10. And the reason why is because um, the number 10 is outside of this. Um, it's not outside. It, it can't, like, find this outside of the function over here, guys. It's indented inside this one. For example, let's just imagine, like, this number 10 is inside this function box over here, guys. And because it's got local number 10, that means that the box is shut. The box cannot be opened. That means, guys, that this function cannot actually know what is inside that box. And it cannot know that number, which is equal to 10, is inside this box, guys. So, therefore, it'll print nothing because it thinks nothing um, is the value of number 10. However, guys, if we were to not put local in front of this, guys, that means that number 10 will now be able to be accessed accessed by each um each two functions over here guys so as you can see now this time 10 is going to be printed twice and for example imagine this as instead of 10 n the variable number being local um it is now client global and pretty much that means that the box is open and test again can actually access that box and know that number is inside of it and the value of the number which is 10 is the correct value to print guys so if you, that was a decent analogy well yeah I, I hope that was a good analogy guys that's pretty much what i can um what i can tell you guys over there for, for my my best analogy over here but pretty much that is scope over here guys so it's very very important to remember where you guys are putting um your variables if you want to um actually access a variable in two different functions then you may want to not put local in front of it guys um but if you guys are only having it in one function then feel free to 
or guys you can just define the variable outside if it will have a value before going in the function if you guys get what i mean over here for example if the number was 10 and um, starting off with and then in this test you don't number is equal to number plus 10 and then this one i don't know we'll just do number is equal to number plus 20 for example guys our number already has a value outside this m function before so technically we kind of still needed that before and um, because i had a base value of 10 but guys if there was no reason for this number to be defined out this function guys then you probably don't want to put local number and you probably would just want to start this off in this one over here right now guys um instead of having to um instead of having to print local number outside if you guys get what i mean over there kind of explain that as best as i possibly could over here guys you may need to watch this a few times to get your head around it guys it's quite simple you'll definitely get used to it the more videos you guys watch um, and the more you'll just recognize the pattern of when and where to use variables um, and all sorts of stuff over here guys so that was um scope for you all guys and um, make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you ever need help you guys can receive one-to-one -one help from me on my patreon page but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out